Hello, good morning, uh, good afternoon and uh, good evening. I hope you're all very well and I'm, I just want to say I apologise I haven't been uploading as much. I took a week off and just been focusing, just staying, um, spending some time with my partner, chilling at home, just doing my own time sort of thing, just playing video games and just chilling out. I also had to go and get a COVID vaccination as well, which I got ill on that one as well. So. And also there's a, another surprise that'll be coming out. I'm going to make another video in the future, uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. There's something that I really want to show you guys, so definitely keep an eye on that. I won't say what it is, but keep an eye on this channel. So today, uh, somewhere different, I'm currently at Farnborough, uh, Team Sport Farnborough. This is a electric car indoor, and uh, I have been here before. I think this is my second or third time. I think it's my third time. Not my favorite, place to go um i've the main reason why is because i'm with a couple of friends here one of them's never been to team swap before so i'm just introducing her to uh indoor karting and also reading is shut at the moment all weekend which i have no idea why we really wanted to go to reading but uh we couldn't so i thought okay we go to farnborough we try out the electric carts and stuff and uh try and get a video out for this plan is today we're, we're doing three for two so we've got three sessions and a lot of it is just having fun try and get some decent times really uh, i don't remember my previous times that i've been here because it's not saved on my app that you have on your phone uh, previously the app wasn't even out at the time anyways i'm just going to treat this as fresh new times for me and just go from there really so uh, i'll give you guys a tour around in the building and uh yeah we'll go from there see you in a bit So it's going to be a very interesting uh, session today. Um, when I mentioned that I have been here before, this track is very, very symmetrical. Uh, you will see why once I've uh, gone out on the track and you get to see it. But a lot of it, there's only like one or two braking sections uh, where you have to go around a shop, hairpin, you go down the ramp. Also, once you get down onto the bottom floor, there's like this little boot section um, that can be very, very slippery. I am expecting downstairs to be very slippery. But other than that, um, I'm really looking forward to this session, especially that I am with a friend that's never been before. So definitely looking forward to it. These are electric carts. They're the old electric carts. If you have seen my Watford video, they are slightly different. They don't have them restrictions and stuff like that unless they like put them in. Uh, I actually don't know. But last time I came here, there's no restrictions on them where when you put your acceleration at full 100%, you're going about two miles per hour during yellow flags. This one you could just go like it's like normal petrol. So no, looking forward to this. We've got three sections today. Hopefully uh, we're going to get some good racing. I've been told there's about 14 people out of 16 uh, we might get an extra two people coming over to join us and yeah it's going to be incredibly busy it's uh hopefully we get some decent overtakings uh, we try and keep it clean and uh go from there so what i do i quickly go downstairs and show you guys the bottom view as well see you then like uh well the upstairs people are out on the track they get everyone ready on the bottom floor never seen this before but mainly because every time i come here there's only roughly about three people um and it's incredibly busy today which is really really good everyone's out um everyone wants to have a good evening on the sunday evening yeah i think everyone gets all ready down here uh, while everyone's out on the track hopefully once these lot out on the track pick upstairs they will send these guys out so um, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure where we're gonna be but uh, we definitely soon find out later so yeah no definitely looking out it looks like these guys are about to go out because I can't hear or see any 
people on the track. Looks like they're about to go and send people out, so yeah, we'll get a, uh, get a view on that. As I've mentioned before, because they don't have restrictions on them, uh, you can see people making mistakes coming out of the pit. So you've got to definitely take it real easy. Uh, I know the pedals can be very, very sensitive to some people who've definitely never used these parts before. So you have to take it real easy when coming out of the pit. So, yeah, there's a tip. So it's coming to that time now. Everyone's been briefed. Uh, we're literally just about to go on. Uh, we're about to get assigned to our carts and yeah, hopefully uh, it will be a clean session but I, I have a gut feeling it won't be. So there might be uh, a few black flags, hopefully I won't get one and uh, oh, we'll just have to see what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Try safe. So here we are at Farnborough, just coming out onto the track now. I've noticed it's a little bit slippery at the beginning there, just warming up my tyres right here, but they did get up to temperature very, very quickly. So it felt all right. Um, as I remember correctly, a lot of stuff down here, especially in this section, is incredibly slippery. There are tapes on the floor to try and get uh, as much grip and not go straight into the barriers. So there's a highlight here. There is a, there's a couple of bit of traffic in front and just keeping an eye on the number 36 just see how he performs coming down here on the left hand side hit the apex here but I noticed he went absolutely quick and he went straight into the barriers and he will do exactly the same or oh, almost there it, the thing is when coming around them corners you must must hit the tape on the floor it will stop you from going into the barriers taking this right hander here you have to get that absolutely correct Notice he's going a lot quicker than usual and he went straight into the barriers. It's, uh, I was really hoping that he will learn by now that how incredibly slippery it is. You kind of have to start braking and let go of the acceleration when coming into these corners. Um, it's exactly the same just when you come down this ramp on the right here. And I also notice that he's quite violent on the steering wheel as well. And it doesn't seem to be learning so got onto the left and made the move here I did push him a little bit into the barrier but uh, no nah, he was absolutely fine did, did put my hand up just a wave to say hey sorry didn't mean to push you into the barrier trying to make it as clean and give him as much space as possible so this highlight right here I was watching these three guys in front um, I think throughout this session these guys were hilarious they were really annoying but funny at the same time. These guys were treating it like it was like bumper cars, like Mario or something. And they were just bumping into each other. They're absolutely going mad. So I thought I'd try and go for the move right here. I got a little bit wide here. I realized there is no grip right there, but then I managed to get the overtake done right here. So it's all, all looking good. So I've noticed the driver in front is incredibly slow. She is new at the track, so she gets away with it. Uh, so just moving around, managed to get the move done, going down the ramp here and gain two positions, which is nice. Moving on, I've noticed there's a bit of traffic up ahead. Uh, we're just gaining in on them right now on this right hander, uh, pushing it down on this section right here. And it's a little bit clumped up together, which is all OK. Absolutely fine. I think was all going quite smooth right here. Come around this very long left hander. Uh, you could definitely feel a G or two going around them corners, it's insane. So one of them went absolutely wide and gave a, a gap. I had to slam on my brakes right here, I wasn't expecting him to move back to the left. But he did get stuck on the apex there, absolutely hilarious. I, I don't understand how you could do that, but it is what it is. 
So gaining on this cart right here, I did leave a gap. This guy went for the overtake and he did it perfectly. It was great, it was an awesome move. But when I looked to my left, I, I just got rammed to the side. I put my arm out just like, what was that for? And just earlier again, I, I got hit to the side and wasn't quite happy about it. So that was a, that was a little bit dirty from that driver. Again, these guys are hilarious. They, they were treating it like it was bumper cars. They were trying to go for these unrealistic moves. And uh, I thought I'd just hang back and let these guys battle. And just see how it all goes. I would like to overtake these guys, but I, I thought I'd keep an eye on right here. They don't know how to do this section correctly. I did hit the side of him. My bad. I'm guilty on that one. And uh, God, they were just sliding about all over the place. It was absolutely insane. Managed to get through the gap on the left and get the overtake done. Other than that, after this bit, we noticed there was a red flag. Not 100% sure what exactly has happened. But listen to this. This, this is quite funny. So the group of guys that we were caught with, the, the ones that are bumping around and that, they, they, they sound like monkeys. They seriously sound like monkeys. It, it was, I was just sitting there just like, why are these guys are making such weird noises? I was just, I was laughing. Like, you didn't hear me laughing on the mic, but inside I was laughing. It was quite funny. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting. Again, uh, one of my friends in the front, she's new to karting and stuff like that. The guy went absolutely wide. I thought I'd take it on the inside right here, get the overtake done, gain another two positions. Uh, in one corner, I was very happy with that. Did get bumped from behind, but that wasn't a big deal. Absolutely fine. Was uh, wasn't a harsh bump, so I was fine with that. So just focusing on the driver in front, he went absolutely wide right here. I thought, oh, go for the gap. Move into the right here. I know I can get a much better line right here. I went a little bit too wide in actually trying to give the position back, and, uh, and then it was check a flag. But hey, it was good. I thought I could try and make another place, but no, nah, it was the end of the race. So, and I see you guys off the track. Um, that was an interesting session. It was fun, but wasn't so fun. There was um, there were a group of guys here that they have no like racecraft. I don't know whether racecraft is the correct term for it, but they they don't really give any much room. They know how slippery it is downstairs, but yet they they seem to mess it up each time. The time they see someone behind them and that they go full defensive, which is absolutely fine. It's do it correctly in a safe manner. And there is a couple of times I put my arm out just like, yo dude, like stop. And they do it immediately afterwards. I don't know, that was the first session. I'm hoping they will be a little bit more cleaner on, on the next session. They are giving out black flags. There was a couple of incidents that I bumped into and I was expecting some black flags for myself but it didn't quite happen. I tried to break as much as I can and not bump into them so anyways it was okay. Um, I managed to get 44.1 seconds. I know I can do better than that. I really want to get into my 43s, like late 43s. But I just had a ton of traffic. I wouldn't be surprised if I, I don't manage to get into Port Freeze because of the amount of traffic. But other than that, um, the track's really boring. <laughs> it's absolutely boring. Uh, this track's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. But other than that, no, I'm having a good time. I just had a chat with my friend who is her first time here. I was trying to give it as much space as I can. I'm not sure whether the other people are doing the same. There is one gentleman here that he's always here. He's been superb, he's been clean, he's avoided incidents, he, he knows the slow ones out there. They try and let the, the rookies have their fun really. So, uh, so thank you to him really. Other than that, we'll see what happens to the next one. See you then. Alrighty, we're now going back out onto the track. I believe this is our third session. Um, the second session was not really that in anything that interesting. Now did these two guys were chatting away and stuff. I thought I'd give them and I'd say, look, come on guys, let's go, let's raid. So I was following him for a bit. I tried to make a move right here, he went absolutely wide. But for some reason it completely cut me up and I got hit so hard from behind. I'm not gonna lie, that hurt. 
I move out on the on the wide here and just let this driver go, the person who hit me. I was shaking my head just like for goodness sake, why didn't this guy just break or maybe he was just too close, I'm not 100% sure. But that did hurt, I thought I'd just let these guys go, I thought I'd chill out and all that kind of stuff, trying to regain my energy and feeling a little bit better. So right here I managed to catch up and trying to have a bit of a battle here. I tried to go for the inside here trying to make the move, didn't quite happen, uh, a little bit later and that I noticed he went down and he, he likes to go into the middle of the track so these guys surely don't know how to break down here and I got hit from behind as well which wasn't a really an issue, thought I'd try and follow these guys round on this long left hander, see if I could try and make another move, uh, this guy goes in the inside that's absolutely fine no problem, I noticed there was a guy on my right who wanted to try and make a move as well. So I swing the cart right round, look to my left. He's still there right behind me. And I thought, okay, right, we've got two battles going on here. We've got someone behind me who wants to take my place and I want to take this guy in front as well. So I've noticed he went, oh, I don't know what happened there. He went straight into the middle of the track. It's usually the rating line you, you move over to the left, you follow the line that way. But he didn't, he decided to go right side. I think he wanted to try and defend and stuff and didn't quite work. I ended up taking him out. Uh, I did apologize, I did give the, the positions back. Um, it is what it is, really. So, typical race incident. These guys were really, really fun to watch. These guys were battling, they were pushing each other. Look, he went absolutely wide, he was forcing him out, and which gave me a position. Didn't really quite work in his favour. And it was oh, it was good fun watching these guys. They were just crashing into each other. They were absolutely going mad. It was so much fun to watch. We noticed there's even more traffic coming up ahead right here. Unfortunately, it did take, uh, did crash into my friend Tonya. Um, she was not happy about that move. I noticed that the marshal on the right there gave him a black flag for it. So off he goes into the pits. Um, karma. That's what you get for constantly crashing into each other, bumping into each other, and stuff like that. You, you're going to get black flagged. Um, you got to look after these carts, right? I, I feel really, really sorry for the mechanics. repairing all these carts and stuff and giving them maintenance. I noticed the person right behind me was trying to go for the move. Uh, he forced me absolutely wide here. I was really really annoyed. He, he said something to me but I didn't quite hear what he wanted so I just let him through. I couldn't be asked to deal with someone who was constantly forcing me out on corners and stuff like that. But anyways, these guys were having a lot of fun. It was absolutely fine. Um, they were in a big group and that. Gave me a thumbs up to say thanks for letting me pass. But he's having too much fun. It was absolutely fine. So I will speak to you guys after this. So we just had our three sessions. Um, they were very, very interesting. There was a lot of uh, collisions. There were uh, a lot of bad flags. All that kind of stuff. It, but don't get me wrong, I had a good time. It was really, really cool just watching these people. Like They were treating it like it's Mario Kart. They think they had power-ups and stuff. It was insane. Um, most of the time, I like to follow them and stuff like that. This, I think there's going to be a lot of highlights uh, during the vlog today. Um, so, anyways, uh, after our free sessions and stuff, um, they gave us a nudge and said, hey, you know, because of what's happened with the amount of black flags and that of like crashing and dirty driving and all that kind of stuff, they, they allowed us to have uh, an extra session at the end. So there's only going to be, I think it was roughly about what, like four, five, there's going to be six of us. So the track's going to be feeling a little bit empty in that. So we can really start focusing on getting fast times. So that's, that's the plan. Um, basically, uh, get all the rookies off the track. And then uh, the ones who are, I wouldn't say they're all rookies, it's just uh, the troublemakers, I call them. Let's, screw it, let's just call them troublemakers. Um, the people who like tend to crash and all that kind of stuff, um, yeah, they're off the track now. So the people who are clean, like ourselves and that, uh, 
we've been invited to go and do another session. So, so thank you very much. It's been a really, really good experience so far. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it, and it's again, it's something different. Even though I have been here b before, but um, yeah, no, I've been really, really enjoying it, and that's so. Um, yeah, I see you on the next session. In this clip, this is just me showing you that I had a fast lap. So coming around to the right hander here, keep left, make your way down. You want to coast this bit, don't accelerate, don't brake, no nothing, just let the car swing around. Put the acceleration really, really early on that. Cut the apex, keep right here. Aim for the middle part right here and swing the car all the way around. You see the markings on the floor. Keep going, keep your foot you're down. And that's it, hard brake, swing the cart round, cut the apex right there, keep left. You want to let go of the acceleration right here, let it coast, let it coast, put your foot back on. Now hit that tape on the floor, cut the apex right there, keep to the right. You want to go in the middle right here, and then make sure you get close to the left hand side as much as possible, and then cross the line. There we go, simple as that. That last session was perfect. It was so good. I managed to get myself into 42s. I think it was about 42.9. I managed to get myself in. So, mate, super chuffed. Absolutely chuffed. So, thank you so much for uh, Ben Footy. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced your last name. For giving him an, uh, a marshals a nudge and give us another session and stuff. And thank you so much for the advice. I drove a lot better in Farnborough in just in just three sessions, really. Um, absolutely amazing it was good to follow you for a few laps as well trying to learn your lines and stuff like that so no it's been really really good so thank you very much but yeah if any of you guys enjoyed this content and that um, don't forget to give a subscribe and like comment dislike comments anything man that's cool all right see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.